have you seen the first Avatar? I know many people did, and when it was released, it was well known for its CGI. It just blew everyone away because people didn't know what to expect. It ended up being one of the top grossing movies. Now, the second movie is getting ready to release and people are stoked. Why are they stoked? You might be wondering. Well, we're here to tell you all about it. Let's jump on in. First, let's take a look at the release date. The original release date was for 2015. Yes, 2015. And it still hasn't been released yet. Why? Well, one delay after another and then it was slated for a Christmas release, but it all depended on what year that would fall on. If you remember, there have been so many Christmas releases like The Hobbit, Star Wars, and all sorts. However, it has a date now. That date is December 17, 2021. Yes, it's coming out next week, everyone. How exciting is that? Are you going to be seeing Avatar as soon as it releases, or will you be waiting until you can watch it at home? Keep watching to find out more about Avatar 2 and why people are so excited for it. We rolled around one more full year for a release in December of 22. That's been announced already. First, we have Jake Sully. The main character, Jake Sully, will be back for the sequels. I mean, I'm not surprised because I think there would be some backlash if he wasn't. Sam Worthington, who has also starred in Clash of the Titans, Man on a Ledge, and Sabotage signed a deal saying he will be Jake for the foreseeable future. So no need to worry, everybody. Jake is back. The Aussie actor was the first one to actually confirm the production back in November 2013. However, after after this movie, we don't really know what's going to happen since they're all standalone movies. Will Jack even be in them? What do you think? Will Jack be in every movie or do you think one of the movies will branch off and maybe look at some other characters instead? What if it went into the other cultures in alien life? That would be kind of cool. Next up, Neytiri. With Jake back, we know that Neytiri is back as well. Zoe Saldana has said that she will be back for Avatar 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we're going to see a lot of Neytiri. The actress also talked about what what she's seen from the production and admitted that she and James Cameron got very emotional discussing the story about what's going to be happening over the next few years. Well, you've really piqued my interest here, Neytiri. Saldana has done really well since Avatar. She's been in the new Star Trek movies and Guardians of the Galaxy, so she's a well-known face and name to the sci-fi genre. Even though she's supposed to be in all the sequels, we don't know in what capacity and the Avatar franchise is good at keeping us waiting till the actual release. We'll keep you posted. It. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think something terrible is going to happen to Neytiri? What if it goes into them having children and their lives? Wow, imagine that. Watching them grow up and how the world changes. Oh, Cameron, I have an idea for you. It's going to be dramatic. It's going to be super big. And the humans are not going to let go of Pandora that easily. <laughs> up next, the children. Speaking of kids, the new actors to the franchise are all really young. They're actually Jake and Neytiri's children because many years have passed between the first two Avatar movies. However, there's one child who will be playing the human, and that is Jack Champion. He's playing the human child that was born in the former human colony, but enjoys exploring Pandora instead. Wonder what will happen to his character through the movie then. Also, there's going to be an entirely new civilization on Pandora, the ocean-based Mertkaina. There are three major roles in this group that are children, so we're going to keep an eye out for them too. I wonder what this all means. Are they really setting everything up for the kids to take over? that'd be a good way to do it because it could actually take over the whole franchise within the next couple years. But their parents could still be around to give them advice. Maybe I'm jumping to conclusions, but you know I do that because I get too ahead of myself. Let me know what you think about this theory because I think it's plausible. The way I had it figured, Taruk is the baddest cat in the sky. Nothing attacks him. Easy boy. So why would he ever look up? Next, what's the rating? Well, everyone wants to know who's actually allowed to go and see the movie. It's hard to guess because the actual story of the sequel has been kept under wraps this whole time. Pretty impressed that nothing has slipped out, but I think that's also because of the intended audience. We're taking a guess at it being a PG-13 film because the first movie was. Also, we think the next three movies will be too, but let's wait and see because you never know. What do you think the rating is going to be? Do you think it'll ever be a rated R movie? Now the director, James 
Cameron put so much love and passion into the first movie, he spent years and years developing the script and the technological advancements for it. That's why we're not surprised that he's doing the sequel and all the other movies to follow. Why should someone else make it when he's the one who started us all off? Apparently, he has some big plans and surprises technologically for this movie. The filming was completed at a higher frame rate using performances underwater. Wow. So, we're getting some underwater action too? Amazing. Honestly, he's such a visionary, I'm not surprised he's getting something like this done. I'm sure we can all agree on the fact that Avatar 2 will be pushing some boundaries when it comes to modern filmmaking. The first one did, so no wonder this second one will too. Cameron's goal is to show that the first film's success wasn't a fluke, and I think he can do it. He understands that there is no guaranteed success when it comes to the film industry, but fans are extremely happy and excited to see Cameron's work on the big screen again. Are you happy James Cameron stayed on for the sequels? Do you think someone else should have done it? Tell us your thoughts. Now let's dive into the script. James Cameron was the only person who wrote the first Avatar movie, but for the four sequels, he's brought along a full team collaboration who's helping him break down the whole franchise. I think this is a good idea for the movies because with more brains working together, they'll be able to create a fantastic franchise because they could work together to pick when they want things to happen and why. Josh Friedman, the man who penned War of the Worlds remake and helped with Terminator, the Sarah Connor Chronicles, was one of the first people to sign on. We're not surprised we've got some amazing talent for this script. After this, there was Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Rick Jaffa and Amanda Silver, and Armageddon's Shane Salerno, who are also all on board with the project. As for the actual plot, nothing's been released, like we said, but Cameron has said that the sequels will introduce whole new worlds, habitats, and cultures. So, fans are excited to see new intelligent alien species. I mean, what if they're different colors? What if they speak different languages? What do you think the cultures will be like? I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Apparently, the sequels were written as one large beast, but all the sequels are going to be standalone movies. Won't be one story running through all the films, which should be interesting because I wonder how they're going to do that. But there was one update from Cameron when he was speaking about the Cirque du Soleil prequel, and he said, the storyline in the sequels really follows Jake and Terry and their children. It's more of a family saga about the struggle with the humans. Wow. Well, we love seeing those two together. The second movie will also be focused around the oceans of the planet Pandora. I wonder what they're going to be finding in the oceans. Is it something they need to protect? Maybe something that's going to destroy them. What do you think? What's Avatar 2 called? Officially, Avatar 2 is just that, Avatar 2. Cameron has not released any other title, and I looked it up again today and still nothing. There were speculations that was going to be Avatar The Way of Water, and Cameron said that was a possibility, but nothing was ever confirmed. Since we're nearing the release date, I think we'll have to stick with Avatar 2 because Cameron hasn't given us anything else. If you can name the second movie, what would you name it? Would it have something to do with water? Well, everyone, there you have it. Everything about the new Avatar movie, well, everything that we know because it's all top secret. Are you going to be watching it when it comes out this month? Are you excited? What are your theories about this upcoming movie and the next ones? Because I think they're going to be interesting. Let us know down below.